Yo, what's up, Bob here. If you've been watching my channel for the last, say, six weeks, I've been teasing to a video that I've been calling the State of the System 2019. See, me and Jeffrey Lee Puckett made a few videos called Audio Talk, and we were talking audio, and I started thinking about it, and I thought, well, it might be helpful if I showed um, kind of a rig rundown of my stereo, just so people would know kind of where I was coming from as far as what I think is awesome gear, what I think sounds good. Um, th there's some beliefs that I hold very strongly, and um, it's just my opinion, but it's kind of, it might be helpful to you guys watching if you knew my perspective on some of these kind of um, more uh, dicey subjects. So, <clears throat> we're going to do that through a tour of my stereo. Now, we're going to start out right over here with the Marantz 6100 turntable, which is featured prominently on the channel. If you've ever watched a single one of my vinyl videos, you will see this turntable uh, open each and every video, um, pretty much. And uh, it runs a great old green cartridge. And I really love it. I love vintage tables. I think some people are afraid of vintage tables because, you know, they're not always set up right and they're hard sometimes. They're not really hard to get set up, okay? But some people have trouble with getting them set up. What I would suggest is vintage tables um, have feature a feature set, generally speaking, that would be much more expensive in a modern table. For instance, this Marantz table has an aluminum platter. It also has a um, aluminum tone arm. If you got that in a modern high-end table, it would cost you a lot more than if you just went out and bought a vintage table. Just my perspective on it, okay? Uh, if you gotta pay a guy 50 bucks to set the table up and get it working right, that's not that big of a deal. All right, <clears throat> moving right along into preamp world. I'm running a Dynaco Pass 3 stereo preamp. This particular unit has been modified uh, quite a bit actually. It has an upgraded audiophile phono stage. I'm running two Muller 12AX7 tubes in that phono stage. Okay. And the preamp side of the Dynaco, I'm running two Philips new old stock 12AX7s in there. Um, I consider the Dynaco Pass 3 kind of a character piece. It's not transparent, meaning that pretty much it's going to impart a little bit of flavor onto your system, okay? That is that is kind of um, specific to that unit, all right? So if you're looking for something that doesn't really affect the um, source material that much, maybe Dynaco preamp might not be the one for you, but if you want like a gut punch of vintage um, flavor, then maybe it is the way to go. Moving right all, uh, over to the right of the Dynaco is the Bob Carver Black Magic. The Bob Carver Black Magic is a hand-wired point-to-point power amplifier. Uh, it runs a quartet of EL84s and two 12AX7 preamp tubes. Um, Bob Carver, you know, makes fantastic stuff. I am a big proponent of point-to-point -point wiring. That means there are no circuit boards inside the amp. And it's just com like component soldered to wire that goes to other components. And it's all connected together not by a circuit board, but by wires. And uh, that's how this Bob Carver amp is made. It's also quite handsome looking, I would say. Anyway, let, uh, if, 
so if you had noticed, I have no EQing capabilities uh, via the preamp or power amp. But I like to EQ stuff because I want it to sound the way I want it to sound. <laughs> uh, I did not delete the EQ on the um, Pass 3. It was like that when I got it. Some um, greater audiophile than me decided that he didn't need any EQ. Well, Bob does. So, I added this shit, that's S-C-H-I-I-T, um, Loki. Uh, that's a comp shit is a company uh, out of the United States and they make pretty great stuff for affordable prices. Uh, everything that they do is made and assembled here in the States. And um, I would say that this little EQ is pretty transparent and, um, you know, it has a bypass switch if you just want to remove it from the chain altogether. So, it's pretty benign. It has, uh, it's just four bands, um, and it works really great, really, really great. To the Loki's right is uh, a CD changer that I've had for, I don't know, the better part of 25 years. Uh, I do have a lot of CDs. I don't listen to them a lot. I mostly listen to vinyl. I don't really need to go out and get like a big fancy audio file. Um, CD player. I, I'm, I've had this one for 25 years and loved it the whole time. It's Pioneer and um, it does a great job. So uh, it remains, does not move. All of that gear is ran directly into two Clips Quartets. Uh, the Quartet is like the little brother to the uh, Forte, if you will. It has a high horn, a mid horn, and a driver speaker. On the back of the quartet is a 15 inch passive radiator that uh, essentially works kind of like a, a port for bass, okay? And uh, I, I really like clip speakers and these are great. Um, speakers for the size of space that I have. They're, they fill the space really nicely. Uh, they're a very efficient speaker. You do not have to have a lot of watts to power them. Uh, these would probably run on just a, a few watts. Um, so I have more than enough power uh, to push these babies. They're really great. Uh, as for my wiring, I have Zoo Audio uh, speaker cables and interconnects, and and that's pretty much the whole system. Uh, like, you know, if you if you watch my videos, you know that I love vintage stuff, stuff that's vintage inspired, um, and I just feel like a lot of that stuff sounds great. So. Um, you know, that's how I'm always going to roll, pretty much. Unless, you know, I do do some modern things. You know, it's not like I don't have a cell phone. Buy used. Be informed. And try to figure out what, what you want to hear. And, and chances are, you will end up with a system that blows away everybody you let hear it and makes you super happy to listen to it. And and that's what I got going on. Um, I love it. And uh, I think it sounds great. And I'm really pleased with it. Anyway, please like, subscribe, tell a friend, leave some comments down below. Um, tell me what kind of system you're running. I, I, I really love to know and... Um, you know, I got some more videos coming, uh, as always. So, until we meet again, Bob out.